can't be that bad. The adventure continues. And the legend continues. Oh god, I love this game's music so much. Mwah, chef's kiss, masterpiece. Oh, music just gives me chills. The same exact encounter. The same exact encounter. Number eight. Two hairs and two rollers. Please get poisoned. Not what I wanted. Well, can't be that bad. God damn the music fucking sucks. Drums. I used sound again. Oh, I'm so stupid. Ah. Get him. I'm not using any TP. Oh, it's a fierce fight. Next up is a fight. Get him. Protector goes in for the slash. Ooh. Get him for it. Nice. Staff bash. Get him. Hello? Who is that? What the hell? What? What? I'm so confused. Hello. Hello, Miss Antics. Thank you for the raid of 26 people? 26? Oh my god. Hello. Dungeon Crawling RPG Raid. Hi. Hello, hello, hello. What's good? What the f- <laughs> Sorry, sorry, I read Impossibles, I read your uh, message and I thought to myself, what the fuck, how can anyone like my voice? But then I was like, oh, thank you. Uh, hello. How goes it? I'm a big Etrian fan myself, but I've been playing another I'm playing another D, D RPG tonight. What are you playing? What are you playing, Miss An Mist Antics? What you what you doing? Alright. So, as to why I didn't go into that room, I know damn well that there are two FOEs in that room. Nice try. I'm not falling for that. Oh. I ain't never been raided, so I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I uh, I don't stream much. You can tell. Labyrinth of Galeria, which is basically if Disgaea was Etrian. <laughs> huh. Neat. Uh, just for context, for people that came through, uh, I'm... Just call me John. Uh, I'm a massive Etrian Odyssey fan. I've played all the games, minus the Mystery Dungeon games, because those games are dookie. Um... Haha, <laughs> funny. Um, thank you, the Twitch 666, for the follow. Um, it's not showing my, uh, follow. It's not showing my alerts. There's supposed to be, like, a gif. That's supposed to be Terry Bogard flipping it, taking his jacket off. Um, but yeah, I've played Etrian since, like, mid-2021. I've played all the games and gotten to the, beaten the final boss in all of them. Haven't done much post-game. But, uh, with this H, with the HD remasters, I'm going to... I'm going to, uh, try and 100%. Yes, I have even the original DS games. Etrian Odyssey 3 cost me, like, 200 bucks. It came with a... Uh... Big, it came with that art book. I had so much fun with it. I love these games to death. I love these games so much. They rekindled my, uh... They rekindled my love for video games. Like, I liked video games... Like, back then, I liked video games, but it's like... These these made... Etrian games made me love video games again. Like, holy cow. Holy cow and catfish. 
Hello, everybody, though. Oh my goodness. Never had so many people in my chat before. It's usually been like five people. <coughs> I decided to stream today because I got a new mic. Because my old one was kind of dog. My old mic was really kind of dog water. Just a lot of white noise. A lot of like. <sighs> I have my fan on because it got really hot in here. Hopefully, you can't hear it. I also hope it's not, uh, too loud. Alright, so that FOE is up there. Oh. You! Well, I'm gonna have to go up there. What mic I got now? I was looking for someone to raid, and your title got my attention, and then I decided it would be nice, hopefully. And not scary for you. No, it's not scary. I was just a little surprised. Uh, this is the mic I got. Hopefully, uh, the... I kind of... This is gonna sound really stupid, but I typed in best mics for stream, best mic, best uh, mics for streaming, and I picked the first one because it had good reviews. I didn't do much research into it. Uh, this is my first time using it, so yeah, it's a pretty cool mic. Also, streaming this has been very fun. It has been very challenging to not uh, spoil. I know I won't get many viewers uh, watching, but uh. Mostly just for archival purposes. After I get done streaming, usually, I take clips, I take the stream and cut it down into like various um, parts and upload them to YouTube, just because I kind of want to archive my playthrough. I don't care if people watch it, I just want it to be there, I guess, for people that stumble upon it in the future. Oh my god. This FOE is getting on my nerves. This encounter is getting on my nerves. Oh my god, I might have to head back. Oh my- I was looking at the chat, and then I look back, and Fork is dead. People that are watching may notice that I have a theme with my party members. Fork is dead. You're always the one dying. The Dark Hunter is always the one dying. Oh my god. I can't go any further. I gotta head back. Uh, I haven't, like, uh got any lore typed up for my characters yet, but one day. I have, uh, have it all in my head. I have it, like, brainstormed. I haven't put it to paper yet. Okay, Misty made me her party member and kills me all the time. I'll have to stop by your stream sometime. I love watching people play Etrian Odyssey. How deep into these games do you be? Floor 5 of EO1 HD. Not sure when it, the next EO stream will be since I'm going hard on Final Fantasy 16 when it comes out. I see. So, this is your first EO game and your first playthrough? Uh, on your channel, I mean. A little bit of EO 1, 2, and 3 on the DS, but never got super far. Huh. You know what would be cool to do right now, actually? Hold on. Give me a second. Alright, for anyone that is curious, um, I'm gonna do a tier list. Just give, give my thoughts from all the games that I played. Oh, wait. Shoot. Too many tiers. Too many tiers. There don't need to be this many. Delete row. The fact that Tier Maker even has this many. Alright, so. Uh, Etrian Mystery Dungeon, I played like 30 minutes of it. I thought it was kind of dog, honestly. Uh, and then, all these games are great. All these games are fantastic in their own right. They're all amazing. Love these games. But in my opinion, the weakest of the of the franchise is Etrian Odyssey 2. I won't explain, because no, spoil no spoilers. But uh, it's got a lot of interesting things about it that uh, don't gel with me. Dun dungeon dives are a lot shorter, like early on. Progress is quite slow. But the game is also equally as easy to ch just just as easy to cheese as EO1 is. Uh, EO1, another great game. Uh, fun game to start out at all. I think it's better than the second one because it's easier to cheese. Not because of that, but uh, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Just cool. And then after that, a lot of people rank Etrian Odyssey 4 as like the best game or their favorite game. I don't think so. I think it's, for all the good things it does, it's the jump to the 3DS, and for all the things that it does, it is, uh, 
it is a uh, it's a fine game, but it definitely rough around the edges. Uh, and then after that, Untold One. I like Untold One. I think it's a solid. It's not. It's like a pseudo remake of. Not exactly, because a lot of the floors and some FOEs are... There's some new FOEs, there's some new floor designs. They're very fun. The story mode was added. I don't like the story mode all that much, but it's it's fine. I think the whole appeal is creating your own party of characters and role-playing and, like, getting immersed and stuff. And when there are other characters... When you put characters in there that are, like, from some other RPG, like, they, they like, take... I don't know. It's, like, it's weird. Um... I'm autistic, and I like to ramble a lot sometimes. Uh, Etrian Odyssey Nexus, that goes next, because it's a nice little amalgamation, little mishmash of all the all the games. They're cool. It's cool. Uh, I don't want to explain too much, because I don't want to spoil anyone in here. But, uh, yeah, uh, the Etrian Odyssey Nexus is cool. It's like a big fan service game. It goes on for quite a while. It took me like 130 hours to beat the first, beat the final, get to the final boss and beat it because I took my time. Uh, and then the top three is kind of a three-way tie. Like I like them all a lot. They're amazing. I'll put EO five. Five's great. Two untold, and then three. But yes, uh, that's where I'd rank them. Honestly, these games are all great except this one. But yeah. Um, that's my list. That's my stream. Uh, don't look at that. Don't look at that at all. Let me give you a let me give you a follow first. Let me go let me go follow you on Twitch. Oh, this is a cute little. Uh, I got an ad. I'm not trying to have ads on my on my stream. No ads, not yet at least. Oh. Oh, you're a. Uh, you're whatchamacallit, your character, I don't know. I don't know what they call it. Your, uh, your OC is cute. Oh my god. Boom. Free emotes? Damn. Oh, let's go, I get free emotes. Hey, I have, I have a VTuber friend. She cool. Yeah, I see you've streamed twice now. Like, whenever I'm, uh, I'll have to check those out. I'm very curious. I like watching people play, play these games very fun i'd say go and give uh i'd say go and give mist antics a follow to my chat members but uh i don't really have anybody you really like no, none of the no one came through but it's all right i haven't uh i haven't uh played uh, no i haven't been streaming enough oh my god <laughs> the overlap oh my god okay yeah um we just uh get back to the uh window uh, Really, really wants to game, game capture. Come on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, choose the game. There we go. That work? No, it didn't. Um, here we go. Back to the video game. Yeah, it takes a while to build up your initial audience and stuff, especially if you're new. It'll come with time. I streamed a bit like last year, but like, damn, I love this content. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Okay, uh, so I'm glad, uh, I'm glad there's no schmoilers for anybody here. But, uh, after I put points in, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what my build is, because I have my build planned out for most of the game already. I'm gonna start putting points into that. I'm gonna get level 3 in fire. Uh... God, I love the music in this game so much. Ah, huh, okay. Yeah, we're playing Scuff. Ace, aka Impossibles, likes to break everything. Actually, I'll blame her instead. Hey, it's. Yeah, you're seeing my guild name. Hey, it's Joe Nuts. Pull up a chair, kiddos. You guys got the hang of navigating the labyrinth yet? Listen, kids, I know you're eager for the fame and fortune, but don't get greedy. If you start to get tired, don't push yourselves. Come back here and rest a while. My, uh, my humor is very much something. Oh, nope, I ain't done with that. When you finish the fifth floor, and if you finish the fifth floor before me, damn, 
I'll have to tell you something. I'll have to tell you something crazy about the fifth floor. I won't spoil it because it's uh, it's funny. Oh, but yeah, my uh, my party. I have a launch connect sword, sword variety, not axe protector, because I don't know. I thought it would be cool back then, and I still think it's cool. You don't remember anything about the game, so I'm excited. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I feel that. Uh, Dark Hunter, Alchemist, Medic, Spoons, and Knives are the only ones with plur with the S at the end of their name. Plate, Fork, and Spork. Um, might have been thinking about Trigun when I named the character. Don't know if anyone here has watched Trigun or Red Trigun. Old uh, anime from like the late 90s. My current main party is a Protector, Launch Connect, Alchemist, Medic, and uh... It's, uh, that's kind of fa familiar, uh, similar to my party, but, uh, depending on that fifth one, it could be a troubadour, it could be, a uh, uh, survivalist. I do have to head out to the left to follow him. Thank you. Unexpected, but I will take it. Oh, troubadour? Hey, I don't, uh, I don't know much about the classes I don't use. The only thing I do know, you may have noticed that there are two unlockable classes, the Ronin and the Hexer. Ronin is, uh... The Ronin is uh, not a very good class, honestly. The Hexer is uh, all right. It can be situational at times. It can be situational, but at the points in the game which you get, at the point in the game where you get the Ronin and Hexer, you have to like they'll be level like when you recruit them, they'll be level one. So yeah, kind of kind of scuffed. Like it's not implemented. Uh, it's not implemented all that well. Uh, Eo three does a pretty alright job of it later on. Like, the unlockable classes are cool and all, but like, I usually save those for later playthroughs. Take some farming to the party, yeah. I'd say 3 is the game where grinding becomes less needed. Because like, at times, of course, you need to grind in this game. Especially in 2. Jeez. I remember I played 2, and I might die. Nope, we're good. If you didn't know, fun fact, you know the FOEs, uh, if you get into an encounter with an FOE, say like right here, say like I'm right here and I get into an FOE encounter and it corners me like right there. If you try to run, you literally cannot because your back is against the wall. So you're basically fucked. <laughs> you're fucked entirely. No bueno. Can I run? Yes, because I'm so good at this game. This was probably a mistake. It's fine. It's fine. I got this. It was good. Uh, I'm praying right now. I'm praying. Oh, poison proc. Turn one. Nice. Oh, it's only 43. It's very weak right now. All right. Oh my god, the music! Oh, the music! Holy cow, the music in this game. Oh, this part especially. It's kind of terrifying. Alright, I'm praying. Praying to the RNG gods, I'm gonna defend. You know what? Crossing my fingers. Get owned. This is what, eight games in like a year, almost uh, eight games in like almost two years of experience with the series can do, I guess. Wasn't that difficult of an encounter, but still. Oh, too far. Fun fact, Etrian Odyssey 3 actually has like a multiplayer function, kind of. You can go and fight boss fights with people, but you only get to take like one party member with you. You and up to four other people can like do like group boss fights, so it's kind of cool. Yeah, I can't wait for that. If we're both playing EO5 at that, EO3 at that point, we should definitely team up. It'd be cool if if I can if I'm consistent. I don't know. I don't know how things work. After I finish EO1, I'm probably gonna take like a a break from the games, but that'll, that'll take me a while. It'll take me quite a while. Yeah! <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, probably. But uh, you're cool. You're neat. I'm. I mean that in a nice way. I say you're pretty. You're a pretty cool person. So I'm sure we'll uh, we're basically friends at this point. <laughs> When I heard, like, the noise, I don't have, like, a raid noise, because I didn't, uh, I didn't, uh, plan for any of that. I was just like, yeah, I'll just leave it like that. But I heard it, and I was like, what the hell, did someone, did someone, uh, donate bits or something? I don't even have a freaking thing for bits set up. When I looked and I saw a raid, and I was like, a raid of what, 26? I was like, damn. It's crazy. I am, uh, glad to see more people joining and sharing a love of Etrianacy, because I love these games. It's slowly, it's slowly become, like, a top five favorite game series for me. These games are hella niche, and I want more people to play them, honestly. Big number go burn. I can enjoy it. Yes, Etrian fans are always great. Like. I have, I've had a great experience with the community, too. I had two other people come in that were very knowledgeable last time, like, because I'm in the Etrian Odyssey server, so I was like, yeah, come through, people. But yeah, the Etrian Odyssey community is very nice and welcoming. Not a whole lot of stinkers. I don't mean to, like, butt heads with another community, but the Megaten, the Megami Tensei community, like Persona and SMT, I'm pretty big into those games too, but like, those, that is a, that is a wildfire. I love those games, but that community is a wildfire. Kind of toxic at times, honestly. Like, I love games like Nocturne, Strange Journey, SMT4, but damn. You don't really see uh, that kind of stuff with Etrian Odyssey. It's a pretty, they're a pretty chill community. 